Hello guys and welcome back to This Is Sparta on Arm in Pine. I'm Dave. As I'm sure you've gathered by the little intro we had, it's deadline day. There have been some big deals go through. There's five hours left. If we look down the side, I'll go you talk through the big deals that have happened throughout all the leagues. So Jesus Vallejo has gone to Chelsea from Madrid for 27.5. Felix Yudokai has gone for 15 to Wolfsburg. Jordan Rhodes' big money move to Palace for nearly £10 million. Winston Reid to Derby for 7 Chris Smalling has moved from Man United to West Ham, or Mike Smalling if you're Louis van Gaal. Emil Fernandez has gone from West Ham to Burnley. Schindler has gone from Huddersfield to Schalke. Good signing for Schalke. Love Schindler when I was at Huddersfield for that very, very short period earlier on in my YouTube career. John Roster, former Liverpool youngster, has gone from Rangers to West Ham for just over five. Janssen, that prolific striker from Spurs, <clears throat> has gone to Wolves for just under £5 million. And Frederick Guibert has gone from Bordeaux to Watford. They're the biggest deal so far. There could have been some other ones up there, such as Bean Hacker, our youngster. We've had an offer of 5.25 from Man United and 7 from Barca if you include all the fees and sell-ons and etc. But we rejected them all. He's going to be worth more than that. Definitely. I mean, have a look at him now. At the minute, he's our second best striker. And he's 18? 17. Look at that. So he's staying. He's not played too much for us, but hopefully he'll be in the first team this year. Our transfers, since last time we were here, I don't think there have been any apart from... Efran, this guy, has gone to Eindhoven. They've pinched three of our players now, three of our youngsters on loan, but they're in the Eredivisie. I'm happy to let them go there. And Robert Murich has gone to Fortuna, who again are in the Eredivisie. He probably wouldn't have been a key player for us this year, so we've given him a chance to go. No, I'm not recalling him. I'll give him till January. If he doesn't play well, or we need him, I'll bring him back. Let's continue through deadline day. We're nearly at the end. As I say, we've got five hours left. I wouldn't expect there to be anything big happening with our team between now and the deadline. The only thing I might, I'm tempted to try and do is bring in a new right back because Conor Randall's injured. He'll play well. The only reason I've not, there's not really anybody I want. I mean, I had a look through loanees and free agents and transfers but there's not, like, accomplished it right back. There's this guy. Doesn't really fill me with confidence when I've already got, like, Dumfries. I've sold him. But I've got Dumfries there. There's not Adrian Mariapa. Possibly. But, again, defensive fullback. I've probably got better than him already. There's not really anybody that I want that will be able to actually play in the team ahead of Dumfries. Who's this guy? Uh, scout him quickly. Might be a decent loanee signing. Rob van der Vinden is getting a lot of interest in him. Again, I'm just telling them to jog on, basically. Because I like the look of him. As an advanced playmaker, he could be quite a tidy little player. Centre mid, he's tackling, his heading's not good enough. And he's marking, but... Advanced player, he might be alright. Florentina. Oh, again, they're after my keepers. This is the downside to having a youth recruitment like this. Every single transfer window, people are after my players. Reject. Leave me alone. See, again, this even this guy, Yanez. He's got potential, but he's not there yet. A loan could be... Suggest it. We'll go for a loan. If we get him in and we need him, then we play him. If we don't get him... I'll play it that we didn't need him and I didn't want him. I kind of did though. No, I didn't. No, I didn't want him. Are we done? Right, do I have I got any youngsters that can play right back? That might want game time. Marco Post. He's a left back, he's tidy. Do you know what? Cancel. I'll give my youth players a go. Craig Goodwin could be leaving. 
I wouldn't have thought so. There's 15 minutes left, mate. They want him. Reject. Probably five minutes left till the deadline. If that. Hints and tips. Too many new signs in a short space of time can upset the balance and rhythm of your team. Yeah, but you always make your way back from it. Unless you replace the entire first team, then you're generally alright. In my experience, anyway. I've never replaced an entire first team. Is that it? There we go. Transfer window's over. Dutch transfer window roundup. David Neres was the biggest transfer. He went from Ajax to Leverkusen. Bart Ramslar went from PSV to Chelsea for 17.75. He's the biggest deal. Not that guy. And Sven Van, De Van Beek went from final to Milan. Didn't he join them for like 400 grand? No, he's always been there. Oh well. Major failed transfers. Gerard from Sparta to Fiorentina. He was never going to go. Biggest spenders. PSV spent 26 million. Who did PSV buy? I don't... Oh, I know Zellalem. I know him. He's the Arsenal guy, isn't he? Yeah. I don't really know any other, anybody else. Who's the guy they spent £9 million on? A new winger. Looks quite tidy. And that's PSV tried to challenge for the league this year. £26 mil. Big money. Most active. <laughs> Go ahead. Bought 16 players. Let's see who they brought in. Anybody, they spent 700000 Cruiswick, I was looking down. See if I recognise anybody. Honestly, don't recognise any of them. Juan Castillo from Chelsea. Fair play to them. I'll show you what we did. How much we spent in the entire window. We spent two hundred fifty grand. We made in 180. The two players we played for, we played for, paid for, we paid for Conor Randall. I think it's 150 grand. Yeah, 150,000. Not a bad deal. And Chris, this this guy that I can't say, as a new winger, 100 grand, youth prospect, is not too bad. Defreet. Oh, we've had to give him an extended period of leave because my physio said he's tired. I don't know why. Can only assume he's played maybe for Holland under 20s or something. Nope. Doesn't look like it. He's just tired. Oh well. Let's do our next match anyway. We'll do the PSV game. Right before we go to international duty. It's game day. But before we play, let's run the intro. Okay, here we go. We're away against PSV. We're going to go Maxwell, Dumfries, Breedank, Friends, and Dai. Leodam as a deep line playmaker. Brute being the ball winner as always. Spearings. Advanced playmaker, Manzoro, Herven and Tominello up front. Connor Randall drops the out of the squad due to his... What's up with him? A double hernia. I think that's pretty much gone with the team. Yeah, let's go. Oh, standard. Here's the tactics, anyone's interested. Work the ball. In the box, is it worth doing? Yeah, let's put the right and the left and play it direct. Submit. Oh, I can pick another sub. Okay. Good win. Submit. Okay, they can uh, enjoy themselves. With the underdogs, go and play as well as you can. Go on, lads. Let's see how we do. We're currently 10th. A win will take us quite decently high up the table. As we said, the the aim for the season is Europe. But, no. Yeah, we need to get Europe. I won't be happy this year. They're playing very narrow. Clear the ball to the flanks. Don't let them score straight away. Five minutes gone, 1-0 down. Oh, well, that's not the start we needed. Down to 11th in the table. Joint with Feyenoord at the minute. There's De Jong, out towards Morganella. Vrenz has gone walkabout and Breedak doesn't cover well enough. Well, we keep going. We keep plugging along. If they score again, we might have to go attacking just to try and get something out. Don't let them score like that. That's two balls in from that side. That's two balls in. Advanced player tactics. Right. 
you can now automatic I might just leave everything the same you know but just go let's go attacking let's try and push them back as quick as we can no idea if it'll work doesn't seem to be doing it at all is that going to be half time yeah that's half time isn't it well something's to change in this second half I don't know what but something needs to Thinking maybe I might move Spearings forward into a more attacking role. That was a good first half. Let's have more of the same. But 2 0 down. I don't want more of the same. Of course I don't. Let's push Spearings forward into that role. Tuminello on the ball. Nope. Let's change it from attacking as well. Go back to standard. Now that we've got someone a bit higher up in midfield. Ziegler, close him down, Klitsch, still need to close him down, Lukasun, oh, nearly three there lads, Spearing's not playing well, let's take you off, let's bring on Shembri, Trikatista, Beanhacker advance forward, and Oran Dag on the right. Calm. Pressure's off. I have faith in you. I have faith in you. Come on. Look at Dumfries. This is why I tried to sign a right back in January. Not January. Oh, it's in. Shembury. 2-1. The 32-year-old free agent gets his first goal of the season. Gives us a chance to try and get back into this game. Good free kick from him. Have we got another goal in us somewhere? Zoic with a goal kick. Vrenz controls it. Don't do anything stupid. Well done to Leodam. Big ball forward. Easily intercepted by Franco. Timor. Bentig Bentiv Gida. I'm trying to say his name. Butchering it. Oh, don't let him score. Let's tackle Fabio. Well done, Breedijk. Shembury with time. Back to Van Hoeven. Who just loses the ball? Probably should have tried to sign a new left winger. I say new. Rotation left winger. Because Van Hoeven is our best one. We've lost 2-1 away at PSV. Yep. Well that's a poor result. That's a poor way to go into the international break. You were unlucky today. Well we sit 10th, 11th in the league. Jump with Feyenoord. A win would have been nice to fire us back up the table, but we'll take we'll take it. We were away against a decent team. We were extremely hard as a team. If we can see that results will follow. Yes. When's our next game? Fifteenth. Fifteenth against Roda. I will see you then. I've been an idiot. I've recorded all the stuff for the start of the game, and I was in window mode, so we've got no video, and my audio is not really much use without the audio, without the video. You get the problem. So I'll show you the team. This is the team we're putting out. We've gone two up front because I'm either brave or genius. and Or an idiot. And we don't know which one yet. So we've gone Maxwell, Dumfries, Breedike, Vrent and Die, Leodam in a registrar as always. Brute, ball winner. Van Herven and Dag, the two youngsters on the wings. Tominello and Shembri go into up front. Either going to really well and we'll score lots and lots of goals. I'll be very, very happy. Or it won't go how we expect. I don't know yet. So let's continue. Apply advice to Team Talk. Go and get revenge. They beat us last time, apparently. I don't really remember it, but we'll let them go. Utrecht, top of the league. Look at them. la -de da Let's see how we get on. I'd like to win. Where would a win put us? Nine points, joint with Rhoda. So it put ahead of the team that we're playing now. Dag intercept, well done. And die. Van Herven. Tominello! Oh, I love him. I love this man. Marco Tominello, just banging in the goals. Every season we've had him, he's got, I think he's got double figures every season. And he's only going to get better. Look at that. Just reads it perfectly. Kicks. Device in the shins, but gets a goal. And puts us 1-0 up. 
two up front might be the way forward for us at home. I'm not sure though, because here they come. Soren. Tackle him. No. Don't let him through. Oh, loads of room for Piersman. Why, why do I open my big mouth? Why do I open my big mouth every time? Ah, look at this. Van Hyfe. Where is Dumfries? Is that him there? And then deflects off friends. Of course it does. Of course it deflects off one of our players. Why wouldn't it? Right, let's see. Can he drop back? Shadow Strike is not the right one. Try that, I guess. I don't think two up front was the right way to go. It's not looking like it anyway. Tominello offside. Right, free kick, not free kick. Corner by Dag. Oh, what on? Bruno puts it in his own net. wonder what happened then. Let's watch again. So Dag puts the corner in. David boots it back. Dag puts it straight back in. And it deflects in off Bruno, wherever he is. I don't know. Well, we've got a goal. 2-1. Oh, intercept that Van Hoven. Good man. Shembry. Brute. And I. Loads of room. Shembry. Playing quite well in that role. Van Hoven. Not not sure what that was, but we'll put it down to not understanding the mind of a footballer. Brute, good man. Tominello. Van Hoot, no. David intercepts. <laughs> Willy, running forward. Decamps. Oh, that right side of ours is getting exploited time and time again. That's twice in for two goals now that right side has been exploited. Put him back as fullback support. I know he can't cross. But defensive fullback is just I don't know what's going on. Willie on the ball. And dies there. See the left side, we win the ball back. Brute. Shembry. Van Herven. Quite an open game this. Tominello running through. He's got another. Oh, his third goal of the season already. 3-2. Talk about an open game. 30 minutes gone. Five goals in this one. I'm hoping that's it. I don't know how much my heart can take if we keep doing this, you know. 40 minutes. Right, there's not been a goal for eight minutes. Dumfries. And I. Uh, not sure why he's taking throwings on the left. He's not meant to. Friends, don't do what you normally do. Have a brain fart. There we go. Past few times, he's an absolute brain fart. Tominello going to go for it. Straight at the keeper. St currently, sixth in the league. Exactly where we finished last year. Half time, right, I'm happy with that. Let's see, you're playing well, but there's room for improvement. I don't want to make Tominello switch off. I'm just playing it round. Thinking they're better than us. <laughs> they can dream on. Now I say that, they'll probably end up finishing above us. Utrecht's still top of the league. Are they in game at the minute? Latest scores. Yeah, and they're drawing nil nil at the minute. So even unless they lose, they're staying top of the league. Good on them. Good on them for actually by like, fighting out at the top of the league with Ajax. Dag's not doing anything today. So, Brogno, I trust you. Van Herven, you're on a seven, you can stay on. Dumfries, I am really concerned with. I might go for Kamara next time. He's not as good, but he's never let me down in the one game he's played. Brogno, I have faith in you. Go and do something. Go, go, go. Twenty minutes left. Hold on, lads. Oh, corner in. Oh, 
I thought it was going to be an own goal then. Maxwell claims it. Wasn't nervous. Big kick forward, Maxwell. There we go. Van Herven challenging, loses out, but and Dai wins it. Tominello. Shembury running through. Thinks he's playing rugby. He tried. That's all we can say, really. Tried to go for his right foot. Use your left. Who's this? Van Herven. Nope, not there. Tackle. Tackle. Tackle the willy. Oh, that's a, that's a good finish, but come on. You need to stop that from happening. Oh, that's not what we needed. Right. Willie should have been tackled there by Leodam. And I got caught ball watching. That is an absolute screamer, though. In at the near post. Probably shouldn't have been beaten at his near post. Shembry. Fouled. Send him off. And then we're going to go attack him. And we're going to try... Not overload. Attack him. I'm going to try and nick a goal. Hopefully. Is that a highlight? Nope. It's me being optimistic. Hoping there was going to be a highlight. Jamie Root's looking exhausted. I don't care. He's playing on. And we've drawn at home to Rhoda. It's not going to change now. Nope. 3-3. Three, three. That's very disappointing. But we'll have to hope with that. We'll have to not hope with that. We'll have to deal with that. Not happy with your performance. You needed to win that game. Seven points after six games is not good enough for us. Especially when Utrecht have won five and drawn one. Scoring nine goals. Oh, Ajax have scored 19 goals already. They're averaging four goals a game. That is a ridiculous return. Just less than four goals a game. Tominello, two goals, rate at nine. I'm happy with that, though. He's still doing well. Good on him, he's only 19. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed it, leave a like. If you want to see more, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And I will see you next time on This is Sparta.